السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is lesson number one in our free online course Microsoft Excel for Planning Engineers. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the menus and the tabs in the Excel 2010. Just we'll go through the important menu and tabs here. Uh, in uh, in our Excel 2010, you have the tab menu uh, home. You can find here the paste, cut, copy, and format. Paste, of course, if you want to paste something and cut and copy from source to another source. Uh, this is very important tab, the home. 90% from what you are going to use is from the home tab. Uh, so here you can change the font of the Excel. Here from here you can change the size of the font, make it bold, italic, underline. If we type something here, let's say free online course from planning engineer .net. If we change, if we make this, you can make this bold, you can change the font size, you can make a fill here, you can change the color of the, of the font itself, here you can, if you, if you have a big cell like this, you can whether to make it uh, top aligned or middle aligned or bottom aligned. This is a, a difference between the three bottoms, and here it is aligned to left. If we enlarge this cell, this is aligned to left. This is center aligned. This is right aligned. This is the most important thing in this menu. Of course, we have here conditional format, but we'll make a separate lesson for the conditional format. It is very very useful. Uh, tool for uh, planning and reporting you can make very nice reporting uh, depending on the cell values and so on and this is a uh, auto submission because you are using it too much so they, they put it in the home tab uh, from here you can insert whether picture or shapes or even a charts this is a chart area or you can check you can insert text box text box like this you can type whatever you want this is text box and you can resize it this is important as well because sometimes you want to add a text in a very specific place so we use this text box and of course you can change the font and the size and everything so this is very important for me this text box this from insert uh, we can insert a, a, a word art like this word art and of course you can change the size from home you can change the size you can change the color and it is the same concept this is for the insert another important tab it is the page layout from here we can organize our page uh, properties from page setup we can change the orientation of the paper we can uh, choose the paper size a4 a3 we can uh, put some header or footer that's like uh, header we can put here our company logo we can put here whatever and uh, uh, in the footer i'm always doing this one like putting the pages number let's say this is page number this is the page number of and this is the total page numbers so 
it depends on how many pages it will show you page one of one if you have only one page and it could show it could show you page one of 100 if you have 100 page so this is very useful and you should have you should put this footer in all of your works this is from the page layout formulas of course will have a separate uh, lesson for the important formula how we are going to use each one of them and from the data this is very important the filter this is you can create create filter from here so if I selected this columns like this and I click filter it will create a filter for me depending on whatever here and I can clear the filter as well from another click here And there is a very useful uh, tab, uh, a very useful um, button in the Excel which called APC spelling. Always we are typing, 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 and maybe we are doing some spelling mistakes. So from review, just click APC, and it will review all the spelling. Now spelling is complete. Let's say we build book another word. Wrong spelling, and we check the spelling here. It catch it. This is not in the dictionary, and it give you some suggestions. So we can choose which is the correct one. If I choose this one, change it will be changed to good. Or again, ABC. Yes. Okay. This is from review and here from view I'm using this mainly to view page break per view page break per view it will tell you how the page this paper will be printed it will be printed in two pages this this is the contents of the first page this is the content of the second page so I can delete this so it will be only one page I can here set what to be printed from this uh, page per view and I'm always keeping this focusing on this one because it is uh, it is very important to see what you will print because at the end of the day you are going to print this document so it is important to see what you are going to print so this is the most important we're going very fast through the tabs and menus and of course from view here we have the macros we'll have a separate lesson for the macros how to use them how to record macros and so on so again this is going to make a very fast review from home we know where is the cut and paste and everything we know how to change the font from this area we know how to make the alignment from this area we know the conditional format is here and they can use the auto submission we can use the sort and filter from insert mainly we are using for charts for smart art or even shapes something like this this page layout we are using to make the orientation the size and the print area can clear the print area you can set the print area again if I click like this right click and I can set print area so this will be the new print area and here's a scale I can make it this uh, affecting the printing the formula tab we said will make a separate lesson for the formula tab from the data we'll find the filter this is very important menu the data we have here is a filter from review we can find the spell check this is APC if we have any something wrong before we printing any document I recommend to go and make very fast spell check and of course from view here is a page break per view this is a page layout and you can say normal I am always working on page break preview then I can make zoom here 
to see it in the normal size so I'm always focusing on what will be printed okay this is very fast lesson about the menus and tabs in Excel 2010 the most important thing here that there is a file you can save or save as or close or even create a new blank cell file if you are using 2003 before this will be a little bit confused so if you need to add a new here a new file is from here and of course this is the option tabs from Excel as we going to in our course I'm going to explain how to use each one of them and what is the use of each one of them but for this lesson I want you to, I want you to know the uh, important things I mentioned so it will not take time after this lesson to find out where it is okay thank you very much please take the quiz and go to the next lesson see you